The first Tactical Tactics Tactical Pants are a new design in Tactical Pants from First Tactical called the Tactics Tactical Pants. So if you're looking for a new pair of Tactical Pants, you might check out First Tactical Tactics Tactical Pants. Only took me about eight tries to get through that. Nonetheless, First Tactical is a, I think, newer company in the tactical realm, making some, as I mentioned, Tactical Pants called the, well, Tactics Tactical Pants. So if you're looking for a new pair. Anyway. Nonetheless, uh, I saw an ad for these on Facebook. You know how Facebook has those ads and I click on it. Facebook must know that I have an issue with tactical pants. So I clicked on it and it looked like they had a lot of features that were kind of new and different from what other pants had. So I wrote to First Tactical and said, hey, I'm the YouTube tactical pant reviewer guy. I must have 50 pant reviews on YouTube. You want to send me some pants for a review? And heard nary a word back from them. So... Would have been nice to get a response, yes or no, but nonetheless, I ultimately went out and, well, bought my own pair. Came with a catalog. First Tactical makes a bunch of different things. Pants, shirts, socks, gloves, bags, a bunch of different things. Kind of the whole gambit of Tactical wear. But here are the pants. They retail for $65. You can find them a little bit cheaper around the internet. I'll put a link down below to at least to First Tactical's website. Size-wise, they come from 28-inch waist out to a 44-inch waist and a 30-inch length down to a 36-inch length. The waist, well, we're speaking of that, the waist runs big. That's both from my own observation and if you read all the reviews on the First Tactical website, a lot of people comment that the waist runs big. I got my normal 32-inch waist and I'd say it could go down a half inch to an inch, but they only come in two-inch increments and I don't think a 30 is going to fit me, so... 32 it is, but just be aware of that if you're on the fence in either way with the size, they run just a little bit generous. The length, I have washed these, and these are supposed to be a 30 inch length. So if I put this in the crotch here and run it down the leg, you can see it's pretty close to a 30. It was just a hint short when I measured it before, but Pretty close to a 30. Color-wise, it comes in only three colors right now, black, khaki, and navy. More colors would certainly be a welcomed addition. And the fabric is a 52% polyester, 48% cotton. It's a seven ounce fabric and it has a two-way stretch. So it stretches sideways, but not up and down. It's a comfortable fabric all to, overall in general. It's actually fairly lightweight. If you, just to demonstrate here, if I take this flashlight and I put it down in here, you can kind of get an idea here. I do the hair pretty thin actually. I think in, in hot weather, it would actually do pretty well. Once it gets over to about here, you can see where the light disappears. It gets pretty bulky. There's a lot of stuff with pockets and extra fabric over on the sides here. And you can see kind of where that light disappears. But through the part of the pants that's not otherwise reinforced, the knee pads also a little bit thicker down there where the knee pads go. But otherwise, in the other parts of the fabric, it's actually fairly thin. I think these pants would do pretty well in warmer weather if you're so inclined to get them for that. Let's have a look at the design of them, starting with the waist. The waist is a stretchy waist. It's a very comfortable waistband. Stretches just a little bit. And on the inside, you can see this stretchy fabric right here. The two-way fabric on the outside stretches, as I mentioned before. And then on the inside of the waistband, there's this additional stretchy fabric. And it has the first tactical logo that kind of wraps around there. We'll get in there in a minute. Belt loops, there are two belt loops on the front and five on the back. They will hold up to a two inch belt. I really like the detail on these three extra belt loops. They're a little bit reinforced, I guess is the theory. I wish all seven of the belt loops had this neat design ring down the middle. I think that looks really nice. It maybe lets the front look a little bit more plain, a little more under the radar, but these pants are pretty overt with all their pockets. So. I think having a little bit more overt belt loops is not going to detract from things. It just adds, I think, kind of the style of the pants. But nonetheless, those are only on the, well, the side as it were, and the back. The front here, there is a prim snap with the first tactical uh, name written around the outside of it. Inside is the standard, same as the 511 pants, YKK brass zipper, which I never like because the zipper pull is so small. A lot of times it gets stuck down in there and it can be hard to get back out at times. Inside of that, there is a button closure, and then to the inside of the pants. There's a little loop right here. Maybe you can use this to hang your pants, or I'm not sure what else. 
Over here, there's a little name tape. You can put your name or whatever else you want there. Right here, the tag, size 3230, made in China, fabric in China, and something else in China. Otherwise, that's all that's on the inside. Pocket layout on the side here, there is a just an angled pocket. Runs straight angled down here. Opening is right about six inches. You could put a knife in here if you want. There's the stitching that runs right through here. It is a little bit reinforced for this piece of the stitching right here. So might take a little bit more wear there. And then if you put a knife in your pocket, there's a little bit of room to get your hand around that. They label this front pocket, this pocket, by the way, it's crazy deep. 12 inches goes all the way, all the way down to here. So there, that pocket goes all the way down to there. It's a huge pocket. The pockets on these pants are huge, very deep as it were. Up here in front, they call this a knife pocket. It's perfect for a cell phone. This is my Galaxy S7 Edge. Fits perfectly right in there. These pockets are just a little over, about six and a half inches deep by three and a half inches across. Perfect for a cell phone, I think, or they, you could put a knife there if you want. The only problem with putting a knife in here is that if you put a knife on the outside, it's going to run down over the flap of the side pocket here. It's gonna make it hard to open it. You could put the knife, I guess, in the middle, and then you can still open the flap. Or alternatively, if you really want to put a little more effort the knife can go in this little notch right here, and then you can open the pocket. That notch otherwise is perfect for a pen. I've worn my pen there a bunch of times. It's nice and easy to get into that. If that flap, this hole then goes down into the pocket. The only downside obviously of putting your pen here is that once it's there, you can't open the pocket. Side note there, but nice spot for a pen or whatever else you might want to to tuck through there. Moving down, of course, there's a gusseted crotch, a little extra ease of movement. And then the knees, there are knee pads. There's a knee pad opening. These have it on the outside. Two little pieces of Velcro here, and you can buy their knee pads from them and just put them up into here. So those are on the outside as opposed to other pants that have them on the inside. And then the bottom is just a normal bottom. There are some holes here for blousing straps if you want to put those in, if you want to feed those through. Side view here, there's that front cell phone pocket. This side cargo pocket, it's nice, it lays nice and flat. The blousing is at the bottom. Otherwise, everything else just lies flat. Kind of a typical size pocket, eight inches by six and three quarter or so inches. And then this flap here, one of the interesting things about this flap, first tactical logo here, by the way, this flap opens up and the flap is reinforced such, as, such that when you're wearing it, the flap will stay up like this so you can get into the pocket. On the inside, and I'll show you that when I put it on, on the inside here, there is a little loop of fabric right here if you wanted to hook keys or something else into that. And aside from that loop, up in the pockets up here, there are loops on both sides. So if you wanted to hook some keys up in your front pockets there or into your pockets down here, you can do that in both of those. These pockets on the inside have dividers. A little hard to show in the video but two dividers, the dividers run, these are just on the outside, down the middle and up to about here. So the dividers go to there in the pocket and down the middle. This outside flap, you can fold into the pocket, another nice design feature, because the flap is just a little bit narrower than the pocket itself. So you can fold that into the pocket and then you have easy access to a nice wide open pocket. Nice, nice other design feature. The only downside to this though, is that when the flap is inside the pocket, it covers up the opening to those two internal pocket dividers. So you can't use them. You can only then use this as one just big pocket. I guess it would be nice if those internal dividers maybe open down a little bit lower. So if you wanted to put your cell phone or something else from the outside with this pocket, you could do that. But otherwise it does cover them as a side note. Two pieces of Velcro. The rear of the pants, as I mentioned before, the belt loops up here. The two rear pockets are just standard patch pockets. They're actually not all that deep. They're pretty much just typical pockets, about six and a half inches deep. 
The thing that really baffles me about these pants is these pockets back here. They don't actually even mention them on the website. But these pockets are, they're one on each side. You probably won't want to put much in these pockets if you're going to be sitting because you'll sit on whatever in them. If you're standing, that might be a different story. But the thing about these pockets that baffles me is the size of them. A lot of people talk, as a complete aside from this video, and I asked this in my last video, I know tactical companies make their clothing for law enforcement type purposes, but I would be curious to know what percentage of people buying tactical pants are not tactical people. I wear mine to work in the ER just because the pockets are also useful. And I am never going to carry an AR magazine around in my pocket really ever unless I'm at a class. And everyone talks in their videos, oh, this pocket would be great for carrying an AR magazine. I've talked about that in my videos. But how many people are actually carrying AR magazines in their pockets? That's where I, I just be curious to know what percentage of people are law enforcement wearing these pants and what percentage are regular people that are not going to carry AR magazines. But everyone talks about it. Perfect for an AR pocket right here. Anyway, that aside, this pocket right here, the opening is about three and three quarter inches. But the part that baffles me about the pocket is the depth. So watch this. This is like a sword swallowing trick. Start the AR magazine into here. Swallow, 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 swallow. Get it past the lip and keep swallowing all the way down in there. It's like I made it disappear. These pockets are 10 inches deep. An AR magazine is seven inches deep. So here's this. The pocket extends down to here an AR magazine only goes to here. So there is a bunch of extra space. Once you get the AR magazine in there, you can get it out, but geez, I hope you're never in a firefight to try and dig this thing out of here because it's not coming out in a hurry. I don't know what oversized things are fitting in these pockets. You certainly don't want to put a cell phone in there because you'll never get it back. So I don't know if first tactical, if you're watching this, or if anyone else knows, Put some comments below. Let me know what these pockets are intended for, what tactical purpose or otherwise, because they're just really deep pockets. I think if it was me, I'm probably not going to be this motivated, but I would just probably take them from the inside and sew them a little bit. Here's that pocket on the inside. And you could take it and probably just sew it a little bit short, maybe put a seam through here or something if you wanted to make it a little bit more of a, a manageable length. But the pocket is this whole length and you can see an AR magazine takes up that much of it. So they're really oversized pockets, but it's fixable with just a little bit of sewing effort if you are so inclined. All right, let's put the pants on and have a look at them. Looking at these pants on, the cut of them I really like. It's not too loose, not too baggy but not too tight. So if you have bigger thighs, it should do okay, but they're not so big as to look sloppy. Like the, the true spec pants that I have tend to be cut really generous and they kind of, that's one of their points. These I'd say are cut just right. Not too tight, not too loose. I like the cut of them. The pocket layout up here, the front pockets. If you have a knife in your pocket, you can still get your hand in around it, still space there. And there's that little reinforcement right here so you can get into it. The pockets, what I would call the cell phone pocket right here. Nice, easy access to your cell phone. My Galaxy S7 Edge fits right in it. Easy access, nice to get to. The pen pocket right here, nice attention to detail. This is one of those things that when you don't need it, it's out of the way. You don't see it, you don't know that it's there. But when you need to put your pen there, it's a nice little notch that fits right in there. Easy access. I also like it because, because the pen is middle of your thigh, Sometimes when I have my pen up here, which is where I often carry it next to my knife, which can sometimes get a little bit bulky. Sometimes when I bend and sit, it pushes on the button of the pen and opens it up. Down here, not a problem at all. Nice and easy to get to. These pockets, as I mentioned on the side here, you obviously can't use this pocket if the pen is in it. But otherwise, Decent professional looking pockets. This flap here, if you open it up, it'll stay, play, stay in place, it'll stay up if you want access to the pocket and then you can get in to the pocket, get into those two dividers. If you want, you can take an AR magazine and that will fit in these two dividers. If you're the, uh, the AR magazine carrying type, you can put two of them here. You can put two in the back pockets. You can carry, what, 180 rounds? I've, 
if you want to be weighted down by that much, but you could. So you can carry two air magazines here if it's nice, easy access to it. Alternatively, like I mentioned, this flap, because of the way it's constructed, if you want to tuck it in and out of the way, it's a nice clean look there. It's constructed so it's just small enough, just slightly smaller than the pocket, so it tucks in and out of the way there, and it's nice professional look, nice and clean. Other than these two pieces of velcro here, you wouldn't really even know that there's a flap right there. The only downside is that you then can't get to those two little dividers because the flap goes over them, so you then just have one big pocket which blouses out down at the bottom. Still a nice clean professional look. The knee pads down here, you stick in here, and when you bend down, protect your knees there. The mystery pockets here, the things that I don't understand, as I mentioned before, these rear pockets. So they will, of course, hold an AR magazine, but the AR magazine is down at the tip of my thumb, all the way down here. So if you're going to get in there, again, hope you're not doing this in a firefight, you can get you can get out, but again, the magazine sits way down here. I don't understand why it's so low. And when you're sitting, you're sitting on the magazine. I drove out here with the magazine in my pocket here. It's not super hateful, but again, you're, you're sitting on whatever in that pocket. If you have a stand-up job, no big deal. But you're going to sit on whatever down in that pocket. And if you're putting, maybe, if, maybe if you, I think the useful thing you could carry in this would be a baseball bat. It'll stick up here. You can grab it like a baseball bat holster. But anything else, I just don't know why this pocket is so so deep. The rear pockets, just two patch pockets here, normal size pockets, easy in, no closures. Rear pockets are nice, and you can see the belt loops. The only thing I forgot to mention in the tabletop review is that the flap of material right here is too big. When you go, not to get too, too graphic here, but when you go to the bathroom, when you're going to micturate, there you go, word of the day, micturate, look that one up, and you unzip your pants, the flap of material right here goes all the way over to here. It's just too big. It's too much to sort of reach around to go to the bathroom. It needs to be shorter. It needs to be narrower. And then there you go again. That zipper sometimes gets stuck down in there. So overall, I like the pants. When you put them on, you do feel like there's a lot of material up in the top here because of the stuff from these pockets, because of the the extra stiffness of the flaps because of these pockets. There's a lot of stuff up in here, a lot of sort of extra material. It's a little bit extra thick, but otherwise they're super comfortable. I like the cut. I wish they came in more colors. Not too badly priced these days compared to other pants. So overall, with I think a few modifications, fix the flap here, fix this mystery Mongo pocket back here. Uh, I think they're great pants. Check them out. First Tactical Tactics. Tactical pants, first tactical, ta tactical tactics, first. Uh, check, check out these pants from first tactical tactics.